Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my favorite shader setup. Um, so as you can see, it looks really nice, and we even have um, an option for galaxies and aurora borealis. So let's uh, get started. First off, you will need the shader called the complementary shaders. Let's go into options, video settings, shaders. As you can see, I have complementary shaders enabled. Then uh, over here, I have uh, anti-aliasing at four times and then all of these things at pretty much max settings and let's go to the shader options over here I have this set to integrated PBR plus and uh, my profile is custom because I have changed some settings let's start with the sky settings um, I personally do like the shader sun and moon so I set this to on I didn't change anything for these and also the overall sky color the cloud settings, I use the shader clouds because I also like that. In the night sky settings, this is how you enable the galaxy. Turn on the galaxy, and if you don't want it to be too distracting, I would recommend it. Uh, I would recommend you to set it to 0 0.25 to 0 0.75, and one is the default brightness. So yeah. Also, um, I t also turned up the shader star amount to high, which I will show you in a little bit. And yeah, that's pretty much um, the settings that we're going to change in Sky. And then uh, over here, you can see that we also have Aurora Borealis settings. I have set this to on and uh, also biome check to on so that you can get auroras only in mountain and colder biomes. And then um, over here for Ender Nebula settings, I set it to on because it looks really cool in my opinion. And that's all for the sky. Now for the water, I set it to realistic-ish, and then for uh, underwater caustics, water absorption, projected caustics, and water refraction, I set all of them to on. It looks really nice. I will also show you that after we're done changing the settings. Um, Post-processing, if you want motion blur, you can turn it on from here. I turn on lens flare over here because I like lens flare. It looks really nice in my opinion. And then um, this is the rest of the settings. Here we can go to um, the shadows. Here are all of the settings for the shadows. I don't think I changed anything over here. And then for other, I also don't, I didn't really change anything for there. So mostly I just changed stuff in the sky, uh, shadows, not shadows, uh, sky, water. And did I change anything with world? If you want a rainbow, you just have to go to world, rainbow settings, and then turn on rainbows so that it appears after rain. And then um, you can also set uh, life shaft, light shafts to on. It's pretty much god rays for like ray tracing and stuff. It's simulated over here. And then um, here we also have atmospheric fog, which I will show you in that cave down to the side. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all the settings that we have, but I also recommend turning down the brightness to moody so that it has bigger, uh, like, variations in the brightness. It, when you turn down to moody, you don't actually turn down the actual brightness, you just turn up the variation of how bright the darkest shadows and the brightest blocks will be. So yeah, that's pretty much all. And let me bring you through this shader for a moment. So as you can see, it looks really nice. Uh, you can see my shadow over there. And then this is a mountain. This looks really nice against the background. And you can see the shadows of the trees. The trees are also waving. You can also configure this in the settings if you don't want that. And then let's go under the water for a second to show you the uh, projected caustics. So as you can see, you can see these... Uh, where uh where are they oh here okay so you can see these like water wavy things like the rays of sunlight over here and they pretty much are projected caustics it's these like shiny uh, rays of light like wavy waves of light that appear underwater those are the projected caustics that i told you about and then um for the aurora borealis let's go on to the top of this mountain biome over here and set the time tonight. We're gonna go on top of a tree like this for the best view. Um, I'm gonna set the time tonight so I can show you the nebula 
not the nebula, the galaxy and the sunset. So, okay, so as you can see, there is the galaxy, and this is the Aurora Borealis. I couldn't show you the sunset because, well, it's already gone, it's the night. So let's leave this mountain by him for a second. As you can see, the aurora kind of fades away. And then we are left here with a stunning galaxy. This looks really nice in my opinion. So I have it turned up all the way. You can also see another one over here. And uh, let's go back onto the mountain so that we can see the auroras. These things look amazing, not gonna lie. Um, you can see the auroras from here, it, it, it looks really nice in general. And um, you can also see that's the moon. I don't really like the moon, but it's fine for now. And yeah, that's the auroras and I'm gonna show you, I showed you the water. And then one last thing that I have to show you is um, the dynamic fog or whatever it is called so over here we have a cave as you can see now if we go into the cave you can see these um, light rays that's the one that I showed you how to uh, enable earlier and then you can see that there is a lot of cave fog because we are well we are traveling inside a cave so there is bound to be fog because of the really bad, um, like, oxygen, uh, really bad air in the cave, right? So, with the dynamic, like, atmospheric, you can kind of see how bad the air is. It, it's, like, kind of murky. And, as a last detail, here is the lens flare I showed you earlier. So, yeah. That's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.